Bulls fans, Adam and Harry back again. I got a special guest with me today. I'm Stable Abe. And we're taking a look at the new Mansions of Madness second edition box uh, from Ooh. FFG. We got this at Gen Con. Uh, it actually made the trip fairly well. Um, what's cool about this game, aside from the fact that it's a one to five player game and it's the second printing, second edition of the from the Arkham Horror series of the same name. Right. Uh, this is actually a cool uh, game because it has the new uh, app assisted thing. So real quick, before we get into the box, I wanted to show this off. So we've downloaded the app already. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. Um, and it is a new, really sweet animated app. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, it looks really good. This is also one of the fancy high res you know, right. iPads here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and try a new game real quick. I'm just, we're not going to play or anything, but I wanted to show off what you can do. It, it gives you a really good idea of the scenario. Uh, you can kind of poke around. You can see all the different, you know, animated stuff going on here. Cool. It tells you approximate durations. That's these, really cool. These can yeah. change, obviously, yeah. based on difficulty. You got the difficulty down here. Um, how much your players like to talk. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, you can select investigators as well. So you can pick everybody and they have... These different characters are actually in the game. Let's go with, uh, let's check out uh, this guy because he was right there. So you can click on him to, to go there and you can kind of pick who's going where. Get started, sure. Uh, and then, ooh, Holy Cross, King James Bible instead. Still bravery, yep. flare gun, and fire. And it tells you exactly what to do uh, yeah. as you play. And this is an app assisted game. Um, so once everything gets loaded up, it'll take you through the scenario and everything like that. So. Um, so do you need the app to play the game? Can you play it without the game? Uh, it's recommended. Requires it is a free app though. Uh -huh. uh, you can you can probably play it online too with a with a regular computer if you wanted to go that route, right, or like a laptop or something, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but it has all this cool stuff. This is uh, if you play the first edition of the game, a lot of this stuff was was handled by the DM, and a lot of players uh, with a with a cool DM didn't mind running through all the stuff, you know. Uh huh. Uh, uh, if you had one one player that wanted to be the DM, it didn't matter so much. <laughs> oh, right. And you still can have a DM. Um, you, you definitely want to still use the board and stuff like that, but it'll explain how everything goes, all the setup and all that stuff. Um, and then this is for... You can actually set it as... Uh, uh, I think you can set it for DM assist or okay. DM. So you can it. actually have no DM. You can actually play this game right. One to five players, you can play it solo right. or f with full five players with no DM at all. And the game will actually handle everything for you. And you can actually go through here, ambient. What languages versions. do they have? Uh, Just curious. English. For now, English. <laughs> for now, English. Uh, or maybe you have to download a separate language. It, it yeah. probably will have. Yeah, yeah. We, this is the English version, obviously. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to click through here real quick. I don't want to give anything away. Investigator phase, it'll, it'll run everything for them, tell them where to move anything, like, everything like that. Um, there's a bunch of different items. Anyway, the app's really cool. Always, always click the tentacle icon. <laughs> it's the best it icon. is again, it's free to play. Um, I think they learned a lot from the uh, um, XCOM board game as right. far as app integration. Um, I think this is a better fit than the XCOM one. So, do you get a code when you buy the game to download the app, or does that or the, the app, app is, is free? Just always, free. it's free. It's on the iTunes Store now. Okay, so you can go check that out. Anyway, that's the app. Now let's take a look in the box. This is this is the back of the box. So, so yeah, App Store, Google Play, Amazon. Uh, right. Again, it's a free app, so they know once you buy the game, there you go. Um, there's a little ton of stuff in this box that is actually pretty weak. Abe, did you get to play Mansions of Madness at all? I have never played Mansions of Madness. No. Uh, I have played. <laughs> my sanity is. Your sanity is still good. It's already a little shaky, so <laughs> I didn't know. Man, you know, I have to change my name to Unstable Abe if I, if yeah, I play Mansions of Madness. I think somewhere. that's fair. So I have played a couple games of this, actually more than that a couple. That explains a lot. Yeah, it's I got that that uh, you know that Twitch that I have. Twitch, yeah. But um, it's it's a really fun game. It's it's also really hard, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not just hard for the players. It's also really hard for the DMs. Um, the first edition was, and but it was a good difficulty. It wasn't right. like it wasn't like impossible. It was just. It was challenging. No matter what you're playing, whether you're playing as a player or DM, uh, the game was challenging. Tons of different scenarios, lots of story. If you're a big, you know, horror Cthulhu mm -hmm. fan. So like, if you yeah. like, uh, um, what is it, Murder on the House of Haunt, House of Haunted Hill? Yeah. Is, that, is this kind of similar -ish? Uh, I think, yeah, that's a good, that's a good example. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pause real quick. I don't want to cut the box up, so. Sure. I'm gonna pause real quick and we'll open this up. Get the plastic wrap off. Okay, got the plastic wrap off. 
I mean, the art, as usual, for Fantasy Flight, is Fantastic. absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this is new art and how much of this is reused. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell you off the top of my head. Um, but it looks great either way. Yeah. Um, Stop. Dun, dun, dun. Mansions of Madness is a fully cooperative game. Uh, you need the app, is what they're saying. Yeah. So that's what that little screen's for, and it tells you how to, how that all works. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's good stuff, good to know. And of gotta course, have a catalog. we got to have play some X-Wing, right? Yeah. Is there X-Wing in this game? I think, uh, so. I think so. I think so. I think that's yeah. one of the hidden monsters, actually. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a Jawa. That's on a, Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the Learn to Play book. We're going to go through this probably a little bit later, but you can see full color. It walks you through how to play. Mm -hmm. Keep that to the side. Rules reference. This is for you folks at home that want to argue a lot. I've always thought that <laughs> uh, FFG did a really great job putting together their rule books. In, yes. In kind of separating out the essentials and then a thicker book and stuff like that. They do yeah. a really good job of not giving you like a 50 page rule book that's like, hey, you need to read 50 pages before you can play this game. Right, no, like, it's, that's, you know, if yeah. you follow along with the app and then read the read the learn to play just to get a basics, you're, exactly. it's not, it's the, the barrier to entry as far as rules go, pretty low, mm -hmm. pretty low. Uh, we have a bunch of tiles here. Abe, I'm gonna hand this to you while you open that up. I'm gonna keep oh, digging Oh boy, tokens. <laughs> it is an FFG game. It is an FFG game. And, uh, these are actually bases. I'm not going to open this up, but these are all the bases for the different types of monsters and everything like that. They slide in, um, and uh, the only reason I'm not going to open this up is because they're just bases. It's not, <laughs> it's not super exciting. They do you have some it. like slots for cards or for yeah, the cards go in there. Yeah. I will open it up here in a second, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so that's the side. We have the miniatures. Definitely want to open that up. So I'm going to get my handy dandy scissors out. And kind of put some of these guys out. You get a ton of figures. Uh, here's one of the giant Cthulhu monsters. This is kind of a soft plastic. Detail's not terrible. No. Uh, it's actually pretty good. And if you paint it, I mean, you can paint this up. Yeah, totally. Really nice. yeah. If you're going to paint this up, I would recommend uh, maybe using some soapy water, warm soapy water, right. just to clean it the model. Like it's got some, some shiny uh, yeah, mold, mold release on there. Release, yeah. But that's, that's pretty standard. Um, but yeah, there's single piece. You don't have to. There's no assembly required here. Two Cthulhu's. Yep, two of them. You get, you get worms. Uh, you have a bunch of cultists too, which totally, totally not not scary at all, right? I'm totally gonna kill you. <laughs> I'd love to see like a fully painted up version of this game sometime. <laughs> it would be pretty sweet. Look at that dude. This guy actually has a sweater on. Looks like chainmail. Does almost. but I think it's, yeah, it's a sweater. He's, yeah, he's just a, a dock worker, I guess. Yep. A uh, ton of figures there. Um, ton of cultists. Whoa, it's like a drowned man or something. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Um, moving on from there, Abe, you got the tiles over? I got the tiles here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we'll show off the tiles, I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff out of the box. We've, so okay. far, these are the heroes. Uh, we've got some decks, I'll open these up. We've got custom D8s, which are important, of course. Uh, if you play any, any, any Fantasy Flight game, you're familiar with custom D8s and right, their, right. And their <laughs> cards and stuff. We've got more, uh, this is the conversion kit. So this is probably if you have the old old system okay. if you want to convert your stuff over. That's really cool. Uh, and then we've got more. Um, these are the uh, uh, character cards. Character card, investigator cards. Sure. I think that's what they're called. We'll take a look at all this. And again, the box is just empty. It's got the, the two things. I'm going to move this out eight way. Hey, why don't you go ahead and show off some of the tiles yeah. while I unpack the rest pretty, of the Pretty packed box overall. Um, so these are going to be kind of your basic um, terrain tiles. This is a game where you kind of build a map. I don't know if it's all pre-planned out or if you actually build it. So the, some of the scenarios have uh, pre-planned, mm -hmm. uh, actually all the scenarios are pre-planned as far as which tiles to use. Okay. The, the old game actually had the scenario for the DM, the game master to actually set to up. To set up. But the app will tell you which tiles will to tell hold. You. Yeah, because I know so. at the start was was set up. I didn't know if the whole thing was set up. So these are the, the mm -hmm. terrain tiles you use to build your board. Yep. Uh, no, no traditional board for this. So you got, you know, bathroom, attic yeah. stairs. It's all modular, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, which allows them to have so many um, missions and such. Yep. Scenarios. Yep. Uh, all the tiles are double sided. I pop that out. So this is like some terrain, some smaller terrain pieces yep. or for item tiles. Totally normal hole in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Not, that, that, not dangerous at all. Yeah. It's a pond. Yeah. Park. Yeah. Nor pond. No, nothing nothing crawly comes out there. there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you've got two. You pop out really easy, I have to say. So that made that job easy. Right? There yeah, it is. So there you go. Three. You've got your little fire tiles. I think these are clues or something? Or, or yeah. So, so these tiles are clue tiles. They're used in the game yeah. for other effects. But you, this is actually the, the room we saw 
in, uh, in, the, yeah. in the app. Yeah, that's yeah. the entry, that's hole. entry hole. Yeah. Uh, four. We've got some more clue stuff on the top. Five. It's a lot of stuff, man. Seven. No, eight. Eight um, double-sided terrain tiles. Yeah, and, and these, you can, again, double-sided, so. Yeah, so 16, really, in, in the sense of tiles. Uh, you've got big ones that are several rooms, small ones. Um, it looks like each room, the so bigger rooms have like two zones in them or something. Yeah. That you have to move between. And then you've got one, which is character markers and monsters and I guess uh, secret things you can look into. Uh, you've got paintings on the wall, dressers, hidden doorways, maybe maybe just normal doorways. Yeah. Room or er, runes and a lot more of these questions. Yeah, those runes are part of the missions and stuff. They're different colors. You have to have specific colors for right. certain things. So. Uh, and the back of that will tell you who the characters are and will give you some background on um, the monsters and stuff. I, actually, these tiles here. I'll show you real quick. Yeah. You can actually uh, put those into these tiles, mm -hmm. and then it'll actually have like. I'm just gonna open this up. So you could play this without the the, the models at all if you wanted to. It looks like. Uh, there are certain models. Yeah, there there's certain models that uh, um, do you don't to... have models. Yeah. It's more fun with the models. Sure. I think. Sure. Uh, let me just give an example here. Grab a couple of these out. I didn't want to open them all up, but let me yeah. go, let me go ahead and punch out. Let's say. Uh, a uh, priest, right priest, here. and then a star spawn. Yeah. So how this would work is these kind of there's a slot on the side. Yeah. Some of them have slots. There it is. Yeah. So no, there's, there's, there's a slot. Um, oh, there. underneath. Yeah. Duh. Duh, Abe. So these these kind of go right in that slot there, and you can kind of you don't want to damage the card. And you can see in the big one. Yep. There's a slot here, and they slide in here, and now you've got priest of Diagon. You can use just the, without the, the plastic thing, but this is what's cool about him, is then you can put the dude on top, yeah. and you can walk around. And then if he has any extra effects, you can actually put put them in there Fire as well. or something. Yeah. yeah. So, and these are you, cool. Yeah, you've got, here, you know, you've got... If you want to use the big one. You can, you can see the two spawn. numbers, you can see the name, and in the back yep. you can see the special rules it has. So, yeah, you can kind of see how that yeah. would go. It's if you wanted to. You don't have to, but I think it looks cool. I think it looks them. great, too, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, if you... Wanted to travel with the game or something for some yeah, reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you could take, you could, you could leave the, the bulky models behind. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so cool, real quick, cool, cool. Um, let me move these to the side again. Yeah. Uh, so I opened up the uh, conversion kit. This is just a pack of cards and stuff to essentially upgrade your first edition games to the new second edition. Mm -hmm. So this has a ton of the. <clears throat> Excuse me, of the investigators from the old one. I remember Ashcan Pete. He's the uh, the drifter character. He's pretty. Okay, fun. so all the characters in this are new for the second edition. Uh, they're uh, or most they're, of them. I think they're new. They are different. They are definitely okay. different. <laughs> so I guess if you wanted to use these characters with um, the new version of the game, that's what these are for. So right. it has stories on back of them, which is pretty cool. But there's a ton of different investigators here. Uh, I see my covers the expand their expansions and stuff, everything. That yeah, I'm pretty there. sure it's all the expansion stuff, too. These are all um, really great artwork, by the mm -hmm. way. All the different uh, monsters and stuff that you'd have to run into and fight. And then these are different allies, I believe, that you could you could get. Yep. Right. So these are just to upgrade to second edition. And those are ones that they may not have models for. Um, right in the in the box. In the you box. may have the, you may already have the models yeah. at home, but that's what this whole thing's for. Um, and then that was that's the yeah. that's really cool. Thing. These are the new uh, new guys. So these are all the different characters you can see here. If you're not familiar with the game at all, it's based off of uh, again H.P. Lovecraft style stories, and uh, you you definitely have a heart meter, which is your your hit points, <laughs> <laughs> and then you have a, a sanity which is your brain. Right. Uh, some characters favor one over the other. Uh, you have basic stats uh, as well. I, I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, when you make checks, uh, you're trying to roll a number of successes. But um, anyway. Right. On the back of the cards, I'm not going to get into the rules too much, but the back of the cards has all the stories and stuff like that for each character. So you kind of have a better idea of, of what they're, where they're coming from. Um, let's look at some of the character miniatures real quick. I actually think they did a better job on these guys. Uh, there it goes. 
Let me dump these out. And I know these are a little bit hard to see because they're gray on gray here, but right. <laughs> you can kind of see. Oh yeah, those are there's cool. the grave digger guy. Oh, he's York, isn't he? <laughs> that makes sense. His name is York. Yeah. Here's another one. So William York. So you got a good, a good yep, hand yep. reference there. And again, if you have the old character models, these are all new. So mm -hmm. if you have the old ones, you can totally bring them into this game. But this is the second edition, so they wanted to give you some new stuff. Uh, we've got a ton of uh, different items. So this is Duke, the dog, he's an ally, and then there's just a ton of different things you can get. These are all equipment that you can use to, to for yeah. the game. These Ability different backs are different, yeah. different abilities, stuff like that, so we're getting Standard started. Fantasy Flight size yep. card. These are cool. Yep. Yeah. All the different things, insane, different effects and stuff like that. And they have different decks, obviously. We'll go through these when we when we look at the, the Learn to Play section. I'm sure they'll explain a ton of this stuff. But you get two, two full stacks. These are all different types of cards. So these are all like... Those damage cards then? Uh, they can be, yeah. Mine didn't. <laughs> so if you take a damage, uh, like this is minor or shock. Something? Critical, yeah. yeah. So, so and if, then, you play, if you play like Fantasy Flight, X-Wing or something like that, you've got... Damage the, decks. Damage decks, yeah, which you can see on, on one side you just use to mark if you take any point of damage. If you have to flip a card over. And then if you get a face-up card, it's a, it's a critical. Yeah. That's a... Uh, Exactly. That's pretty normal for their games. Yep. And there's those. And then we have more item cards and stuff like that. This is, this is gear and stuff like that. These are uh, like weapons, daggers, like melee eggs. weapons, carbine, rifle, stuff like that. Anyway, that's what those are. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pause real quick and we'll take a look at the uh, references. Sure. Before we get into the learn to play stuff, I, I was just poking around the app. Um, I wanted to check something out about... Um, if I had an old edition, I was like, oh, I didn't see anything in there. It's actually in the options. So you go back to main menu, you can hit more, and it'll take you to uh, these options. You can go to my collection. And it goes, oh, I want to see my first edition products. These are all the expansions. I want to have that one. You just click here, it's enabled. Uh, and now you hit back, and we will take you back to uh, my menu, new game. And you can select the new scenarios that are, you know, stuff like that. Um, actually, you're supposed to go through these scenarios in an order or what, what have you. Like, you, you, you can. Sure. Um, but now when I select investigators, I have some All more options. Oh, the old ones. Yeah. yeah. So there's Ash, Ash Can P. Oh, boy. All right. So I just wanted to show that off. It does actually take into account the app uh, if you have the previous edition. So. That's very cool. Huh? Yeah. Agatha Crane. <laughs> Gloria, Gloria Goldberg. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to show that off. Uh, Abe, you want to grab the uh, rules, reference. Play, rules reference? Yeah, first? here's right. the rules reference here. So, again, this is for everybody that wants to read all the rules mm -hmm. uh, explicitly and, and any weird kind of uh, stuff that might pop up. But this will take you through pretty much any rules questions you might right. come across. All that stuff. So Actions. not everyone needs to read this. This no. is they got to learn to play uh, here, which is more what everyone should read or, yeah. or and this told is, about. This is but. 24 pages, roughly. Yeah. Quick reference guides on the back. Quick That's reference. super That's handy. That's really great, yeah. Um, we're not going to go through how to play the game because it's a little bit more complicated than a, an unboxing video <laughs> explaining it. But it's not that bad. It's really not super, super difficult. Learn well, to that, play real quick. And the app will walk you through a lot of it. Anyway. Yeah. And you want to you wanna read through the app and stuff. like You want to read through this and mess with the app probably before you actually play a game just to make sure you know how right. it works. And that's what I mean, that's where all the scenarios are is in the app. Pretty that, much. That's partly why there's not a lot of printed stuff in here. You don't have a big yeah. fat scenario book. Yeah. Um, it's all on the app now. Yep. So that's pretty cool. So this is this is just again a quick how to play guide. It's gonna leave out some of the rules and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, again, download the app, it'll walk you through most of the stuff. Set up, how to do all that stuff, how to create the decks. You will there is a little bit of setup time and legwork you have to do before you can actually jump in and start playing. Right. It doesn't take that long though. But then the app, will walk you th or the, the app will walk you through it and then following along with the book, you'll be able to do this no problem. Um, and then it explains like damage and tests and how all that stuff works, so. I do like that they uh, they still give you physical dice because they could have easily put everything in the app for mm -hmm, dice, mm -hmm. but I like rolling my actual dice. I like rolling yeah. the actual dice, so I think that's pretty cool. For sure. Um, that you still get physical dice. Yeah. You want it to be a board game, not a, not a cooperative. Right, I don't uh, want to just app. hot yeah. seat with an app, which right. would be a different game it's all the time. They actually fun, do have some but... puzzles and stuff though that you can mm. uh, you can do on oh, the app. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So that's pretty fun, code puzzles and things like that. So, 
Uh, that's that's what I'm saying. Uh, if you if you played the first edition, there were was a couple of those puzzles uh -huh. that would be set up that the DM would have to like, hang on, hang on, time out. I gotta set this up real quick. Go do that, and then you can come back and play. Right. But now it's all app assisted. So, but that's really cool. Um, was there anything else? I think we covered everything. That's eh? mostly it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could go into detail on all the cards and everything. Let's show off the dice really quickly. Really. Oh, yeah, we didn't do that. the one thing we haven't really seen. Yeah, the dice, again, these are custom D8s. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got blanks, they've got the uh, sigils, and they've got investigation. Uh, thing. And you need a certain number of, I guess, hits or successes right. for, for something to count. Probably depending on so, what you're doing. Yeah, but there's, yeah, there's only three different symbols. The, the blanks, the uh, sigils, the elder sign sigils, and then the investigation. Uh, stuff, so. Do you have the back of the box over there? Yeah. Right here, back of the box. Yeah, so just real quickly, just to tell you what all you would get with this. Uh, it comes with two rule books, 24 yep. map tiles, those are the double sided ones, so it's really like oh, yeah, four, yeah. 48. Right. Uh, eight investigator cards and the plastic figures to match those, 40 common item cards, 24 unique item cards, 30 spell cards. 37 condition cards, 40 damage cards with a lot of things that happen to you guys during yes. this game. Yes. Uh, 40 horror cards, 24 monster tokens, and plastic figures to match those. Right. Uh, 16 search slash interact tokens. Those right. are the question mark things. Yep, yep. Uh, or little, not question mark, but they're uh, magnifying glasses, I guess, yep. actually. Yeah. Um, 16 explore slash sight tokens, 22 person tokens, 4 barricade tokens, 4 secret passage tokens. 18 fire slash darkness tokens. Those are double sided. Right. Yeah. Uh, eight wall tokens, four door tokens, 26 clue tokens, six ID tokens, and five dice. And the conversion kit comes with 16 investigator cards, 33 monster tokens, and four person tokens. Right. So <laughs> everything from the previous editions all wrapped up so that you can use it in this new edition yep. too. So I love the fact that this doesn't invalidate the previous game. Yeah, it's at great. All. You can still use all the stuff you want from that. So there's still a re even if you already had the previous game, there's a good reason to get this. Yeah, you could almost treat it as an expansion for the previous. Game. Absolutely, um, absolutely. And I think that the nice uh, touch. yeah, and I think that the app is a really a great idea. It adds a lot to the to the game. I, I hope we see more things like that in the future where they're used for puzzles or kind of a blind play game where you yeah, yeah. have to know where the monsters are. And, Oh like yeah, that. that would be <laughs> yeah. be interesting. So, but yeah, that's everything you're gonna get in the new Mansions of Madness Second Edition from FFG. Again, set in the Arkham Horror series of games. Really awesome stuff. If you played before, you want to update the game so that you can use the app, so that your one buddy doesn't always have to game master <laughs> and can actually play with you instead of trying to kill you all the time. Right. And then again, he might actually try to kill you again. Never mind. You or, know what? It's because of the game. Or you can just play by yourself. <laughs> it's true. Uh, in, Single player. In, in, in your room every day. You can play yourself through a game. And, and, and try not to get scared. Yeah, and get really, really good at it. And then just uh, <laughs> be that guy. Be that guy. There you go. <laughs> anyway, that's Mention Madness. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Hustles. I'm Stay Believe. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.